so now we have to see second method for purification of water and that is a reverse osmosis but before proceeding to the concept of reverse osmosis we should understand the concept of osmosis first as in last year as in 12th class you have studied about osmosis right so what is osmosis yes, ha Solvent moves from higher concentration to lower concentration. Higher to lower or lower to higher? Okay, you have tried to give the right answer. It means there is a unidirectional flow of solvent molecules, right? There is unidirectional one-way flow of solvent molecules, but from lower to higher or higher to lower? You have mentioned higher to lower, but others are saying lower to higher. Okay. First of all, we will see. the process of osmosis let us consider there is such a flask such a flask is there there is a semi permeable membrane this is semi permeable membrane what is the role of semi permeable membrane it will allow only solvent molecules to pass and that will be from only only in one direction either left to right or right to left only in one direction <coughs> so let us consider here there is dilute solution and here it is concentrated solution let us consider there is a solution this is dilute and this is concentrated so what will happen these molecules the solvent molecules from this low concentration solution or dilute solution will pass to the highly concentrated solution or more concentrated solution so water molecules or solvent molecules will pass from dilute to concentrated solution okay this is a natural process in a directional flow of solvent molecules from dilute to concentrated solution or from low concentration to high concentration solution and that process is called as osmosis okay you might have learned various examples of osmosis in 12th if we add mango in water raw mango in water when it is added what will happen where there is a more concentration inside mango or outside mango inside mango there is a more concentration so as per this rule what should happen water should pass inside mango or mango pulp should come outside or water molecules from mango should come out what do you expect low concentration to high concentration inside mango there is a more concentration right so water will pass inside that mango right and therefore you might have observed that mango will swell up right similarly you might have observed another experiment uh, grapes when grapes are added into water water molecules will go inside that grapes and therefore there will be swelling up of grapes so this is the process of osmosis right okay so osmosis is clear to you right now can we do something so that we can stop this osmosis can we do something so that this osmosis can be stopped okay so if we apply some pressure from the concentrated solution side from this side so can we stop the movement of this uh, solvent molecules flow of the solvent molecules yes the answer is yes it means we can stop the flow of the solvent molecules from dilute to concentrated solution by applying certain pressure by applying suitable pressure right so this pressure which is sufficient to stop the this pressure which is sufficient to stop flow of solvent molecules from low concentration to high concentration that pressure is called as osmotic pressure right this pressure is called as osmotic pressure how much pressure the minimum pressure which is required to stop the process of osmosis that pressure is called as osmotic pressure so from more concentrated side you have to apply some pressure so that this process will stop and that pressure is called as osmotic pressure is it clear if we apply more pressure how much pressure 
if you apply more than osmotic pressure whatever the osmotic pressure is there if you are applying more than osmotic pressure from the concentrated site from concentrated solution then can this process be reversed the answer is yes it means if you are applying more pressure from this side by suitable way okay if you are applying more pressure from this side than the osmotic pressure then the, this process can be reversed then the solvent molecules will go from concentrated solution to dilute solution and this process is called as reverse osmosis reverse of osmosis or it is simply ro in case of osmosis when the solvent molecules were going from dilute to concentrated what will happen when there was osmosis process when the water molecules or solvent molecules were going from dilute to concentrated solution there will be increase in amount of water in this case right in this compartment so as there is increase in concentration increase in volume of water so there will be decrease in concentration is it right similarly there will be decrease in amount of water or solvent therefore there will be increase in concentration so the naturally the process may takes place this the process may continue till both the concentration may be same but that depends on few uh, other parameters also so it is all about osmosis and this is about reverse of osmosis or simply called as reverse osmosis so by use of reverse osmosis process how we can get pure water any water any salty water we can use suppose from here we are adding salty water or any water so the speciality or beauty of this technique is it can remove all type of impurity why because it will allow that semi permeable membrane will, will allow only solvent molecules to pass the membrane will allow only solvent molecules to pass no any other impurity will pass only water molecules will pass so we are getting highly pure water by using this thing no organic impurities no any other type of impurities are remaining or that are coming in the water so we can take we can use some tap and here we can get a good quality water for drinking purpose i hope you understood the process and this is the technique which is being used in your ro at your home whatever the ro water purifiers are there so this technique is being used that's why you can see in many advertisements the people are showing water from any muddy or any type of water they are adding and still they are putting the glass and taking clear water and they show that they are drinking that type of water how it is possible to bring any water from any source and that can be taken so that is due to this technique because no impurity is coming only water molecules will pass through this membrane that's why we are getting highly pure water by using this technique if water is containing some sandy impurities silica impurities organic impurities colloidal impurities turbid impurities all these impurities will remain here itself okay that cannot pass further okay so it is all about the process of reverse osmosis now uh, there are lot of questions whether such water is healthy or whether such water is suitable for drinking or not what do you think such water is not suitable for drinking applications because our body needs some minerals some ions are required our, for our body and hardness of this water may be around 0 ppm or 0 to 5 to 0 to 10 ppm so we are getting water of very low hardness here almost no hardness is present so such water is not suitable for drinking application we need mineral water so some companies are saying that we are replacing the membrane instead of using this membrane we are using some different membranes where we will allow minerals to go minerals will be allowed to pass so which mineral is required suppose we have our body required sodium and sodium is allowed to pass if we require magnesium that magnesium is allowed to pass so is it possible to prepare such type of membranes the answer is yes we can develop we can prepare the required type of membranes 
and lot of types of membranes are possible so accordingly if we are replacing the membrane and if we are changing the membrane if we are using some different type of membrane then we can get mineral water also by using this technique and therefore in some of the water purifiers you can see in the advertisements also they are saying mineral water okay ro plus mineral water in some of the water purifiers uv radiation is also there given there uv light or uv technique is also used there which will kill the microorganisms or bacteria if any present there so in this way by using the process of reverse osmosis we can get highly pure water and we can use it for any industrial or for drinking application but for a drinking application if you require water then this membrane need to be modified slightly the advantages are pure water for high pressure boiler can be obtain so we know that high pressure boiler requires very highly pure water so that type of water we can obtain it can be used to obtain mineral water for a drinking purpose by specific by use of specific membranes this process is simple to operate and it requires small time the operating cost is also less but there are certain disadvantages and that disadvantages are whatever water obtained from ro does not contain essential minerals which are uh, which are required for our body therefore uh, this can be one of the drawback but it can be modified or it can be solved it can be resolved by use of certain membranes modifying the membrane taste of natural water is affected due to unavailability of minerals many times you might have seen the when we are going at different locations and we are uh taking water from that different locations you get different taste of water it is due to presence of different minerals or the amount of minerals may be less or more and accordingly there will be uh, different type of test how membranes require periodic uh, replacement so whatever the membrane is being used here semi permeable membrane or ro membrane that membrane needs to be modified or need to be replaced uh, after some periodic use So that's it for this uh, reverse osmosis technique. And in this way, there is a end of this chapter. This chapter is over. I have given you the notes for second unit. Bro, na? Second unit is not there. So you go through the no notes for second unit. Similarly, I have given the question bank. You start preparing the question bank.